Hey there, Caleb Wadrick from DIY Video Guy, and in this video, I'm going to review the Scarlett Solo, and I'm gonna compare it to the Focusrite 2i2. This one has less inputs and outputs, this one has more, and I'll compare them. So as you open this up here, got some information here, but you can see all it really comes with is uh, the Solo in red and a USB cord. And there are some instructions and uh, some instructions on how to download the software and stuff, but not very, uh, not very complicated for the unboxing. And you can see here, this is, a, this is an iPhone 5S. So it's a little bit bigger than that. Um, if I had an iPhone 6 Plus, I think it'd probably be a pretty comparable size for that. So let me go ahead and open this up all the way. Take it out here. Has some nice rubber feet on the bottom, if you can see in there. And yeah, so pretty simple. A little bit lighter than the 2i2, which I've been using for over a year now for podcasting mainly. Uh, I've been using a Heil PR40 into the XLR input here, which I could also do on this Solo here. So size-wise here, let me compare them. So you can see a little bit smaller, obviously. So if you're comparing this Solo to the 2i2, the biggest changes are that guitar input. And then on the back, all you have is RCA outputs. Whereas on the back of the Focusrite, you don't have RCA outputs, you have, you have TRS outputs. Specifically for me with my studio monitor speakers at my desktop computer, this is a better output for me. But most people don't have speakers that are TRS output. So having this standard RCA left and right is really nice. And what I'm actually going to do for these two setups is I'm going to use the 2i2 as my main desktop setup because sometimes I like to have two mics going into that or I want the TRS for my monitor speakers. But the Solo is going to be perfect for me to have a standing podcasting station or to put this down in my studio in the garage that I'm going to be building. And I can just set up a little mobile single person podcasting studio for me to record stuff quickly and to do like Skype interviews and things like that. But the Solo has a lot of the same features as the 2i2. It has uh, phantom power. It has 48 volt phantom power there if you need it. It also has direct monitoring. You can control your monitor speakers with the dial here. And you can also, there's a headphone jack with, uh, let me find the plug um, with a three and a half millimeter, one quarter inch uh, adapter you can use. So that's the biggest thing about the Focusrite Solo. Um, sounds similar, the inputs are exactly the same with, I use the same amount of gain on the Heil PR40, on the, the 2i2 and the Solo. And if you are just going straight to an instrument or a line in through this guitar port they have here, I would just pick up this one. If you need, either the second XLR input, because you're gonna have maybe two microphones going in, so having a side-by-side -side conversation with one person, or you need the TRS outputs, then that would be worth it to upgrade to the 2i2. But mainly, if you're gonna stick with just one microphone or a microphone and an instrument plug right here, all you really need is this Focusrite, has RCA outputs, which is a little easier, and it's a little bit smaller like I was showing before. So let's compare the size just one more time here at the end. The iPhone 5S there on top, so the, the height of the iPhone 5S is about the size of the width of the Focusrite Solo. 2i2 is a little wider and definitely, definitely heavier. So that wraps up this review of the Focusrite Scarlet Solo. Like I said, pretty straightforward. You just get the Focusrite Scarlet Solo, you get a USB cord, and that's about it in the box. Also in the box though is some software plugins. You get Ableton Live Lite. There's the Scarlet plugin suite, which uh, is a plugin for other like audio programs, uh, Loop Masters and Bass Station. So you'll wanna definitely open the box, take the code that's inside of this and get those pieces of software as well to help you properly set up your focus right. So if you wanna check out any other reviews of equipment like this or find out how to make better videos online, go to DIYvideoguide.com. And I've been Caleb Wojcik. Thanks for watching.